The ingredients are simple. Sunshine, carbon dioxide, and water. For at least two billion years, that recipe has worked for plants. Through the process of photosynthesis, leaves convert the sun's rays into their own energy source. What if we could develop a technology that mimics the chemistry of a leaf and produces clean, abundant fuels directly from sunlight? At JCAP, the Joint Center for Artificial Photosynthesis, scientists aren't just dreaming of this technology, they're building it. JCAP's mission is to develop a working prototype of a solar fuels generator using low-cost, earth-abundant materials to convert sunlight, water, and carbon dioxide into fuels, 10 times more efficiently than natural photosynthesis. With a technology that's efficient, inexpensive, stable, and safe. The work we're doing here at JCAP to develop a solar fuels generating prototype has really only recently been made possible by some amazing advances in nanotechnology that allow us to work at the scale of atoms and molecules. These nano-engineered materials would work much like the components of a leaf. Light-absorbing compounds convert the sunlight into electrical energy that is delivered to customized catalysts that convert water and carbon dioxide to oxygen and chemical fuels. Specialized membranes support the light absorbers and catalysts, allowing oxygen to escape and the fuels to be wicked away. If what we do here can someday be deployed worldwide, this could have a huge impact on our energy system and the environment. The amount of energy from the sun that reaches the earth in one hour could power all human energy needs for an entire year. JCAP's goal to create chemical fuels directly from the sun would produce a solar fuel that could power airplanes, cargo ships, and large trucks not suitable as electric vehicles, and utilize our existing storage tanks and pipelines. Unlike fossil fuels, Solar fuels won't add any new carbon to the atmosphere. They'd recycle it. Artificial photosynthesis has the potential to revolutionize our global energy system, but the challenges are enormous. We're at the early stages of this research, and our success will require long-term dedication, which is really something that's very difficult for private industry to do. Only through committed national investment and bringing the best minds together in science and engineering can we achieve this goal. That's why the U.S. Department of Energy created JCAP as an energy innovation hub. We're the nation's largest research program dedicated to artificial photosynthesis, bringing together more than 140 top scientists and researchers from the California Institute of Technology and its lead partner, Berkeley Lab, along with collaborators from the SLAC National Accelerator Laboratory and the University of California campuses at Irvine and San Diego. What makes JCAP special as a hub is that it brings together chemists, physicists, material scientists, system engineers, and computer scientists, all focused on one problem. How do we make a system that directly produces fuel from sunlight? In taking inspiration from a leaf and harnessing the power of sunlight in a new way, we'll add a vital option to our clean energy mix that could create a pollution-free fuel for global transportation. In learning from nature, will help to preserve it.